how are you all doing today? Well, that's a hard question. You know, it's uh, definitely a lot of grief here. Uh, this hit personal to, to a lot of people. Um, you know, this is down the street from my law office, but as a community, Kentucky's been through a lot to natural disasters and now this mass shooting. Um, it's really hard to get your mind wrapped around it, but I'll tell you, we're resilient. Um, we're coming together. We have a vigil playing for tomorrow at, at five o'clock. Um, many members of the community have come and wrapped their arms around the families of the, the victims, and we have an officer right now still fighting for his life. Uh, so, you know, it, it's not good, um, but I'll tell you that one of the positive things is the way that Louisville and Kentucky responds to horrific events is we come together as a family. I, I want to, you know, and I, I just can't stop looking. As a matter of fact, here in, in my studio, you know, I have a, just a graphic up the whole time of, of the five people that, that lost their lives, that one. And, and I'm just thinking, Senator, I mean, you knew one of them very, very well. But these are, these are people who went to work yesterday with the same dreams, hopes, and aspirations that you and I and everybody else has in this country. And just I, I'm wondering, when, you know, when you know someone so closely as you did. Tell me a little bit about them. Senseless violence didn't have to happen. Um, in the position that I'm in, you know, I constantly think, you know, what could we have done different? What could we have done to mitigate the occurrence of these events? And then when you see someone that you, that you love and you care about taken, um, you, you want to fight. You want to make sure you do something to honor them. Um, but you grieve at the same time. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, you know, we, we yeah. want to make sensible um, regulations and sensible oversight. Um, we want to address mental illness in here, but ultimately um, there, there's no way to make sense of what happened to these individuals. You have five individuals who've lost their life for no reason. And we have another officer who's fighting for his life now. Uh, at this point, um, all we can do right now is pray and mourn, um, and then we'll start looking yeah. in the future of what we might be able to do. Um, tell me a little bit about that person that you knew and loved so much. So I'll tell you that um, Tommy Elliott was a friend um, before I ever got into politics. I was very, I'm a nerd and was interested in policy, and he invited me on a trip. Uh, we rode the back of a Greyhound bus together, and he sat with me and embraced me and built me up, made me feel important, uh, and encouraged me to run for a very local office on the local Metro Council. And from there, he, he helped me through policies and um, really was a mentor in many ways, introduced me to some of my best friends, including I'm the governor of Kentucky now.